Hi everybody, Gary Francion for The Evolutionist Approach. There is a theory called carnism, which says that the ideology of animal exploitation is invisible. It's not something we're aware of. We're conditioned by it, but, we're, but it's not something we're really conscious of, and it's invisible. And so when we engage in animal exploitation, we're participating in this invisible ideology. We don't really sort of understand what we're doing because um, the, all of the assumptions and the ideology that, that causes us uh, to engage in animal exploitation is not something we're aware of because it's not visible to us. Now, I think that is complete nonsense. The reason why uh, most people exploit animals they participate and they the, the ideology of animal exploitation is very explicit it's not invisible at all it's called animal welfare it's the animal welfare ideology it's the idea that animals don't matter as much as humans and that it's all right for humans to use animals and to treat them as resources as long as we we do so in a humane way there's nothing invisible about that we've we've explicitly embrace that ideology for about 200 years now. So there's nothing in invisible about it. And, and what's troubling is to say that the ideology is invisible is a way of keeping us from critiquing the animal welfare ideology. It's not coincidental that a lot of the people who promote this carnism uh, approach are people who promote animal welfare reform and reducitarianism and things like that. So they're, they're saying, let's not focus on the obvious uh, cause of animal exploitation. Let's pretend that it's invisible. And let's, by the way, uh, support animal welfare reform and reducitarianism and all of these, uh, these welfarist ideologies. Moreover, this carnism approach is disturbing because it suggests we're not responsible for our actions. That when we engage in animal exploitation, when we eat them, when we wear them, when we use them, it's not, you know, the animals aren't the victims, we're the victims because we're, we're, we're being, uh, you know, the strings are being pulled by the invisible ideology and we're not really responsible for our actions. Again, that's nonsense. And, it, it, and what we really need to sort of uh, uh, confront is that if animals matter morally, we have an obligation to go vegan. Veganism is the only rational response to the recognition and the acceptance that animals matter morally. So this idea that, well, we're not responsible for for uh, uh, our actions because it's an invisible ideology that we're not really even aware of. It's just nonsense. I mean, think about it. Think think about. Let's go back to the 1950s, and and think about you know racism, and and say well you know people are engaging in cross burning and they're engaging in other racist activities, but they're not you know it's an invisible ideology and and they don't really you know they, they don't really understand it it's invisible and they're not responsible for their actions. We would say that's that's crazy that of course the, the ideology is called racism and and it's clear what it is it's not there's nothing hidden about it and people are responsible for the moral choices that they make. Similarly, there's an ideology called animal welfare that supports our speciesism. It's the idea, it's the explicit idea, nothing hidden about it, that animals matter less than humans morally and that it's all right for us to use animals as resources for humans as long as we do so in a humane way. Nothing, nothing, nothing hidden about that. Okay, we need to be clear about why we exploit animals. We exploit animals because we participate in the speciesist ideology of animal welfare. Nothing invisible about it. And we are responsible for the moral choices that we make. I will be linking an essay that I wrote about carnism with this video. For information about going vegan, it's so easy to go vegan. And it's what we're morally obligated to do if animals matter. We have to go vegan. We don't really have a choice. Go to the website, howdoigovegan.com. Thanks so much for listening.